Hey everyone, so let's upgrade my Sony Xperia X performance to Android 7 Nougat. So I figured it was a good time to do a comparison versus the Sony Xperia XZ, which is on Android 7 as well. So let's get right to it and power both these phones on at the same time. Now I've done several comparisons in the past and the XZ did come out on top. But again, now that they're on the same version of Android 7, I figured it was a good time to do a new comparison video. So both phones in terms of internal is pretty similar, both Snapdragon 20, both 3 bytes of RAM. Although there are a lot of differences I'll discuss throughout the video, one of them being the screen. As you can see here, both on the same uh, brightness, although the XZ screen clearly better. Um, it is also slightly larger, 5.2 inches, 1080p. The X performance, 5.0 inches, 1080p as well. Though again, there is different in terms of quality. You'll probably just tell the difference there. Um, so the XZ first one to boot up here. And the X performance up now as well. All right, so making sure everything's closed out, we are good, and we're good. All right, everyone, so like usual, I'll plan for the video, app opening, game opening, web browsing, uh, camera speed, multitasking, and more. So yeah, hopefully we see some improvements here with the performance. First up, we got Tom Pro on 2. All Alright, so it looks like this will probably be pretty close. And it looks like it may be the XZ by just a hair. Yeah, really, really slight difference. XZ just by like a millisecond. Alright, so next up we got CNN. And first one here is the XZ. And this app can be really weird at times, guys. It's just can be pretty random. Next up, iFunny. Alright, so XZ there again, but not by much. YouTube. XZ. Calculator. About the same. Clock. Again, about the same. eBay. XZ there, Ash Fold 8, so another game here, so yeah both phones front facing 13 megapixel camera, rear facing 23, although on the rear facing camera the XZ does have several advantages, um, I actually have to update that on the X performance, I'll do that later, um, Alright, I'm just going to close out of that. Let's just go on to more of the apps though. Um, Alright, so next up we got photos. So XZ there in terms of actually loading up everything, ESPN. Yeah, I'll upgrade that game for the X performance, uh, and I'll do more speed test comparison videos. But you see here, XZ again, uh, settings. So it looked like XZ to me. Uh, so here's an intuitive benchmark. Actually, I did not run this yet. Again, on the X performance, I will do that for the next video. But when I had it on Marshmallow, I got a score of one thirty-eight thousand. Uh, for the actually, you know what, guys? I'll I'll run this benchmark at the end of the video so you guys can see what the new score is. Um, but the XZ you see here score of one forty six thousand five sixty one. But again, guys, I will test that out at the end of the video. Actually, just downloaded the um, Android Seven New on this about an hour ago, so haven't done much on that yet. Next up, let's go into Chrome. And we're just going to go on a few websites, not going to do many, let's go to IGN. Alright, so pretty close, let me know what you guys think, I think Slight Edge there, DXZ. Uh, let's go to Nintendo, actually let's go to Sony. Sony.com.
So again, slight edge to DXZ. Nintendo. XZ there. So this was a site that I've been to on both the phones, so there may have still been some data there. Uh, let's go to the site I've not been to. Let's go to Pokemon. And next time I'll try just clearing the data out from both before I do it. All right, so Pokemon.com. And again, you see an XZ here, so pretty clearly the XZ looks to be uh, so far better performance. We're going to be checking out the camera speed though and then some multitasking. Definitely interested in seeing that. Alright, so camera speed, again, both these cameras rear facing 23. Although you do have advantages for the uh, XZ as you see here. Uh, you do have better image stabilization. So we hope I didn't close out. Alright, cool. Thought I may have closed out the apps, but no. All right, so bring up the camera. Um, both these should be on 23 megapixels. Let me just check quickly. Yep, both 23. Okay, so just taking a look at the speed. Okay, so the XE clearly a little bit faster. See guys, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, both these phones are really similar in terms of internals, but the XZ, uh, I guess, just better, well optimized overall. Um, so yeah, some other differences. Now, both 32 or 64 gigabytes internal storage, both do have micro SD card support. Um, the XZ battery is slightly larger, 2800 versus 2700 for the extra performance. Uh, again, both sound and 20, both three rates of RAM, both stereo speakers on the front. Both are waterproof. Uh, both have fingerprint scanners on the side right here uh, where the power button is located now on the XZ you have USB type C versus micro USB on the X or uh, yeah on the X performance so van is there to the XZ um, then on the XZ uh, you can record in four, uh, 4k mode on the XZ but you cannot do on the X performance unless you try to uh, download a separate app and just to look at the design of the phones now personally I do prefer the XZ design just a little bit uh, sweeter in my opinion. I think it also weighs a little bit less, at least it feels like it does. Um, but yeah, both so pretty nice design, just the X performance. A little bit more, you know, it doesn't have much style to it. And you see here on the top also more of a tubular design on the XZ. And the XZ is a tiny bit taller because the screen is a little bit larger as I mentioned earlier. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, so yeah, last we'll just do the fingerprint scanner. Rather, not the fingerprint scanner, we'll do multitasking. I don't have the fingerprint scanner enabled on the XZ. Uh, if you get the American version of either of these phones, you have to uh, get the UK firmware in order to use the fingerprint scanner. But just as you guys see, I mean, it's an excellent fingerprint scanner. Very, very fast, reliable, efficient in a pretty good spot as well. Not on the back like some of the recent phones are doing. Um, all right, so let's do some multitasking. Let's go back to the beginning, let's do Tempron too. And yeah, it looks like with both phones, you're gonna have them restarting here. Now, you know, I'm not really quite sure exactly how multitasking works because sometimes when I'm doing this, uh, when I'm doing this test, it won't restart these apps. Maybe it's something to do with locking your phone, maybe something to do with bringing up the camera or the more apps you have up. Um, but you do see here at the XZ, very similar at the beginning video, still a little faster voting up the game, but not by much, by less than a second. And guys, all these results are very similar to what I saw in my practice speedrun test, uh, CNN Next. All right, so again, XZ there. Oops. All right, so let's do YouTube next. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of these are reloading, although the X performance did win that one. Uh, let's do eBay. Oops, wrong apps. Uh, let's do iFunny. About the same. 
quark calculator uh, with ESPN. Yeah, about the same. So it looks like it was mostly the first few that needed to reload, the first few that were up. Um, Chrome. Camera. And let's go back to Temple Run 2. So yeah, we just went back into that one. Um, and let's do one last one. And then I will rerun the Antutu benchmark. Uh, let's do... Let's go back into YouTube. Alright, so next, um, I'm just going to run the Antutu benchmark again on the Sony Xperia X performance. I'm going to close out of everything. And guys, this score is not going to be as high as you would get. Uh, Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave my phone here for about 15 minutes. Just let it uh, stay here for 15 minutes without any uh, usage. And then I'll see what the result is. Alright guys, just finishing off the Antutu benchmark here on the X performance. Now I do have to say before we see the results of this. Um, usually when I do an Antutu benchmark test, I'll just let the phone sit for a few hours. Uh, at minimum 15 minutes. But now it is at 15 minutes, we should get a higher score. Uh, the phone is a little bit cooler, so it's probably not going to be the highest score you can get, but it will be uh, redoing this test in the future, just for the sake of this video, just wanted to get this out. Uh, so we did see a score of 138,000 on Android Marshmallow. <laughs> Alright, so clearly something uh, is a little bit off here, you see a score of 0. Wow, that's interesting, never saw that before. Um... Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. So here's the score, yeah. So that's actually good. This is definitely an improvement because before, so on the XZ, it's still higher. It's a score of 146,000. Uh, let me just bring that up. Actually turn this off already, but it was a score of 146,000 something. Uh, so this is a big improvement over what we had on uh, Android N, where it was a score of 138,000 something. Um, so yeah, guys, between these two phones, I do prefer the Xperia XZ. Now with the X, uh, with the X performance, it is about hundred dollars cheaper. You can get it now for about five fifty. The XZ you can get for around six fifty. Uh, but I do prefer the XZ because you have a better quality screen, slightly larger screen, uh, better rear facing camera, slightly larger battery by two hundred mAh. Uh, you have USB Type C and you can record in four K. All right, so here's that XZ score over here on the left. Again, about a one thousand score difference. So yeah, overall, the XZ, you're still getting better performance, um, despite pretty similar internals. But, oh, oh yeah, and also guys, I will be doing a um, video on the X performance, just outlining all the differences between Marshmallow and Android N. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments what video you want to see next.